Uh, I want to thank Yeshiva and the Center for Jewish History, as always, for being so welcoming to uh, me and us. Um, the last piece on this program is, a, is the second large form work that David has written for me. Uh, David is somebody I consider my brother, and I love him very much, and I'm really happy that we're doing this concert tonight. And I wanted to prepare you a little bit for what you're about to hear. Uh, the first piece I'm about to play is by a composer named Steve Reich. Last year was his 80th birthday, and he composed in a style that nowadays we call, or a lot of people call, minimalism. Uh, and it involves a lot of repetition, a lot of uh, rhythmic uh, intricacy, but what uh, Reich actually called it was process music. And so let me just sort of like, uh, what you're going to hear actually are ten, this piece is either for ten live clarinets and one clarinet soloist, or for ten pre-recorded tracks of the same instrumentalist and then the same live player playing it live. So the, in, what you're going to hear is ten versions of me. Uh, eight regular clarinets and two bass clarinets, uh, which I went up to uh, a wonderful engineer named Adam Abe's house, uh, recorded all of this stuff with me, overlaid ten parts, uh, and it was quite complicated. Um, actually, uh, there's, it's a lot of repetition, so, but instead of cutting and pasting, what I decided to do was play through all of the parts as they're written. So each of the parts that you hear in each movement is a, is a complete performance of me, that clarinetist, on all of those ten parts. The first movement opens with this unfolding, cascading, overlapping set of four uh, harmonies that, that uh, become the base of the piece. And then we get into what Steve Reich would call process, which you will actually hear me first hear live and then on the tape build an eight-part invention, really, a mobile that rolls and moves. And then after that, you will hear me pick out little melodies that exist within this compound melody that's created by uh, the tape parts. The first movement is, uh, is, is, is quite um, uh, syncopated. The second movement is like a lilting lullaby. And then the third movement is another syncopated real tour de force for actually the bass clarinets that you'll hear on the recorded end of that track. So without any further ado, uh, I'm just going, I'll, when I get the eye sign, we'll do it, but let me put this away first, and we'll perform Steve Reich's New York Counterpoint. <laughs> 